We're going to be doing a test on this Vulcan uh, battle machine, battle rifle. I think it's a battle rifle. Um, doing some simple upgrades on it. He originally had a 9.6 in it. Uh, we're going to be putting an 11.1 and a new uh, high torque motor in it. So what we got to start with here is this is the battery that he bought. It's 11.1. Um, 11, 11 1, 20 c 11 1, 1100 ma now what we got here is a 25 c 11 uh, 1 1300 ma 25 c and a new high torque motor an amp high torque motor so what we're going to do is i'm going to start by testing with this battery just to get a baseline on fps and everything else that we have now we're going to zoom in on And I hope that it will show enough that an idea that you can see the chrono here as I'm shooting. Now let me just uh, give a couple shots here. There we go. 312. For some reason, he's jumping. I think I had the switch. Oh, I got in between full and semi. That's not good. 308. 307. 308. 307. 307. Let's do a full auto so we get a, a rounds per uh, second. Okay. 1100 which is 18.5 which is really really good um, oh, let's go back down here I'm going the wrong way okay that's 306 so let's try it again 308 which is 19.2 which is awesome for this gun the way it's shooting right now with this new 11.1 .1. so that that's an upgrade right off the bat but we have a high torque motor too so we're going to be getting a uh, little bit better maybe trigger response on the semi 310 308 308 310 so that's about the average let's say about 310 uh, we aren't doing any barrel upgrades or anything else like that just a motor and then we're going to be putting this uh, uh, higher speed uh, or slightly bigger uh, MAW battery or C battery on there just to test and see how it works out. So I'm going to do the upgrades and then I'll come back and go from there. Okay, we have the new amp high torque motor installed, clean the barrel, point, the new 11.125C battery. So let's give a rate of fire test, see what we get here. Now while it's semi. 323, 20 rounds a second. All right, let's try semi. 323. We're getting roughly 320. For some reason, the semi is a little jumpy, but uh, 321. That's that's my average here uh, from the other one. So we went up about one, one, one to two rounds per second, and a little bit more FPS. Clean up the barrel. Gonna adjust the hop up a little bit. I'm gonna put on a sight, and uh, let me pull this back here. We're gonna be putting this sight on. It's not only a a laser sight. But it's also a holographic sight, so I'm going to be sighting that in and probably going to be sighting that in for about 100 feet, 125 feet. Looks like a good upgrade. I might do some shooting on it, but right now, this is done. As most of my uh, teammates will recognize, that's my outhouse around here. And I want to zoom in on the doorway a little bit closer so that you can see the red dot that's right here. I don't know if it's even translating. I'm moving it. Yeah, I can see it. So I want to show 55 the feet is.
do a full auto burst so you can see where it is. Right on the dot. Now, I'm gonna zoom back out. That's 55 feet. This is hard to see because it's still a little light. I'm gonna zoom in at 65 feet and see if you can see. Let me see if I can even see the laser on there. Yeah, there it is. So 65 feet. You're dead nuts on at 65 feet. A laser at any farther distance than that is kind of dumb. All right. Just so you can see, we have 125 feet. I'm going to zoom back out there. And I am using the green at a real low intensity. Now there's a deer walk in there, so he's going to probably run. That's 125 feet, it's right in the reticle, it's hitting the black pan is what I'm aiming at. Um, really good, I did scare the deer, I can't help that. But it does shoot really well, so I'm gonna zoom back. Okay. Okay, just so we can see, this is a Balkan battle rifle. One of the problems with this particular gun, it has the high torque motor. The motor grip was so tight, you couldn't get the motor through, so I had to drill it out a little bit, got that in there. The uh, spacer, when I took it off, was like not even in there. It was at the bottom of the grip. So I took that and put that back where it's supposed to be. So I got better at motor adjustment. Cleaned the barrel out with my, the way I do my cleaning. I reversed this, if you guys can see. I reversed this, though. This flicks up like this and covers it instead of the other way. This way it flips down out of the way, and you can have this on. Let me turn this off. Have you can have this on up down go in the cqb area clip that up good to go not you can use the laser put the pressure pad right here it can go here or here but i put it up here because when you have your grip on here i was doing this and i'm able to point 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 okay um, gun shoots really well. The only problem, and I'm going to show you right here, I'm going to put it on full auto so you can hear the rate of fire. Not that any other bounce back, but you never know. See, now it's switching between semi and full. Good response. That's 20 rounds a second gun is shooting phenomenal like I said before though the the gun was shooting about 18 to 19 now it's shooting solid 20 pretty uh, straightforward um, other than that the gun is ready to go shooting a solid 320 this is ready for our upcoming event although my opinion is this does need a new cutoff lever because when you see you switch to semi it's bypassing it full. You're getting three round burst. Still shoots pretty good though. So the gun is done, ready to rock and roll. Um, eventually we're probably gonna have to rip this apart and put a cutoff lever in it, uh, but he's got an event coming up so we wanna get this back to him so that he can use it. Um, as far as putting a, a type bore barrel or something in it, it's a 605 type bore right now. Putting like a 603 or a 602 might give you another 5 FPS, but that's about all you'd want to go do. And it's a good arena gun. It's a good indoor arena gun. He's got two really good 11.1 .1, um, tricells fit in here. Good rate of fire. Gun's done. Ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. What the fuck was that?